in this house, I love making recipes using canned biscuit dough. I know that y'all love these too, so I've got four new recipes for you. Let's get started. This time I have a couple of recipes from you. You submitted these recipes via either email or my Google form for Subby Supper, so I'm gonna share a couple of those, starting with a recipe from Marvette. You may remember Marvette if you've been around for a while. She submitted a Subby Supper quite a while back. It was a French onion chicken and it is so, so tasty. She got this recipe back in college. She has tweaked it um, since then, but she got it from a college friend and it was her mama's recipe. So now they just call this recipe mama, which I just love. That's so cute. But this is mama's hamburger biscuit casserole. So we're going to need this entire container of sour cream. It's 16 ounces. We need 16 ounces of sharp cheddar cheese shredded. So I'm gonna shred this eight ounce block and then we're just gonna use this bag here that's another eight ounces. It's just the Mexican style blend. We're just gonna go with that. You can season it however you like. She mentioned garlic powder, Mrs. Dash, salt, pepper, seasoning salt. I'm just gonna use my Auntie Nono's Everything Seasoning. It's got salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, all kinds of goodness in there. And we need an onion that's chopped. Okay, let's preheat the oven to 350. Okay, I am browning two pounds of ground beef. I'm gonna add my onion here, and then I'm also gonna add my anti no nos everything seasoning. I had already got a good start on this and then forgot that I was supposed to add the onions and the seasoning in. I get so sidetracked in the kitchen. You have to tell me, do you do the same thing? Okay, I've got my can of eight biscuits here. What we're gonna do is flatten these out just a little bit. I'm just gonna use my hands to press them down and we're gonna put them on a cookie sheet. And these are gonna partially bake in the oven for just a few minutes before we put the casserole together. So eight flattened biscuits, a cat wanting more cheese. These are gonna go in the oven at 350 for six or seven minutes. Okay, our ground beef is done cooking. I need to drain off some of this grease. This was a pretty low fat, um, I think it was like 93.7, but there's still a little bit of grease here, so I'm gonna drain that off. Now what we're gonna do, now that we've drained this, we've removed it from the heat, we're gonna add in most of this container of sour cream. She said about three-fourths of the container. And then we're also gonna add in three-fourths of the 16 ounces of cheese. So I'm gonna add this entire bag here which is eight ounces. And I'm gonna add just a little more of this cheddar cheese that I shredded. Some of it will go on top at the end. So let's mix all of that together. I'm gonna try a spoonful of this just to make sure I have the seasonings right. I'm gonna add in just a little more anti no nos not a lot. Okay, after seven minutes, these are definitely not done, but that's okay, they're going back in the oven in just a minute. I've got a casserole dish here. It is not a nine by 13. It's a little bit smaller than that, maybe a 11 by seven. I think you could even use like a nine by nine spraying it with a little bit of spray. So we're gonna take four of these biscuits and turn them upside down so the, the more cooked side is on top. Now we're gonna take our ground beef filling and put it evenly over the top of these. Now I used ground beef. She said you could also turn this into like a breakfast casserole and use ground sausage. So there's an idea. You could also use ground turkey if you wanted to. Now we're gonna take the remaining four biscuits and we're gonna put them cooked side down, so just like regular, here on top. This is going in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 30 minutes, just depending on how shallow your dish is. We're just gonna keep an eye on it. Okay, it has been 25 minutes. So I'm taking this out of the oven. And we're gonna put the remainder of the cheese on top and just put it back in the oven. I'm actually gonna turn the oven off because it shouldn't, it doesn't need to continue to heat. We just need this to melt on top. You all right? Are you excited? I don't, I don't know what that look is, but it looks good, don't it? Me want now. <laughs> all right, Me caveman. Need now. All right, caveman. Just five more minutes. We got a biscuit with cheese on it, some hamburger, something or another. That's right. Mmm. -hmm. What you think about that? I think it's good. It's like a creamy hamburger. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a ham hamburger helper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think about that until just now. And then I just did some squash in the air fryer as well with some seasonings on it. Mm, sour cream in it or something? It does. Sour cream sour definitely cream coming through. Sour cream and cheese. Yep. Yep. Sour cream, the cheese, hamburger. It's got an onion flavor to uh -huh. it. It's got onion in it. Yep. Got some onion in there. Look at you. It's good. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. Ma'am. Mm -hmm. Ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Simple, delicious, mm -hmm. hearty, mm -hmm. comfort food. Right. Make you want to just... Yeah, and you pretty much always have these ingredients on hand. Yeah, so it's going to fill you up. Yes, it does. Get, I love it. Little shout out. I think her name is pronounced Darlene. She sent us these Chicago sport peppers. And then she sent us a couple of other things too from Chicago Johnny's. Steven is already in love with these. Get your hot dogs here. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to be Chicago. Drag it to the garden. Drag to it to the God. garden. Garden. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but. We Southern trying to act like we from Chicago. That's what, that's what I like though. People make up their own language. That's right. That's like what we do down south. We make up new words every day. Every single day. Right. But he's he's loving these. So, Darlene, thank you so much. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Thank you for sending this over. Good morning. Yes, I said morning. And in case you can't tell, I think this is one of the first times I've talked on morning. I'm going to get breakfast in the oven. It's another recipe that I got from one of you, and it is a great breakfast dish. This is lovingly called Betty Jo's Cinnamon Ring, and it came from Patty. Now, Patty is a retired nurse. She was a nurse for 36 years at her community hospital. She's retired. Her and her husband have been married for almost 44 years, and they have one grown adult son. She said that the nurses at her community hospital all really love this recipe because it came from a great cook in their community, Betty Jo, and it's the community where a lot of them grew up. So they just have great fond memories of this, and it's just a treat that they all love. Disclaimer. It uses a lot of butter and a lot of sugar, and it's gonna make a lot, so you probably wanna make it for a crowd. We're just making it for the three of us today, but I'm gonna take some to a friend to share it with, but let's get started. I'm gonna put these in the microwave and melt down our sticks of butter. Okay, we've got a couple of cups of sugar here. You just wanna add cinnamon to taste, so I'm gonna sprinkle in some cinnamon. I forgot to grab the cream cheese out of the fridge for that first shot when I was showing y'all all the ingredients, and it's important, so. Let's get started. I'm gonna open up both of these cans of biscuits. This is the 10 count, so these are a little bit smaller. They're not the grands. They're the smaller size biscuits. We're gonna separate or kind of open up. This is the flaky layers kind, which makes it a little bit easier to open. And you're just going to pinch off a little of the cream cheese. It's really up to you how much you use. And you're gonna put that in the middle and then close it back up. We're gonna do that with all 20 biscuits. I have put cream cheese in the middle of all of these. I kind of went light on our cream cheese just because. And now I've got an assembly line. I have my butter, my cinnamon sugar, and chopped pecans. You can leave the nuts off if that's not your thing, but we're just going to dip these. Oh, this is gonna be messy. Dip these in the butter. Then they're gonna come over here in the cinnamon sugar and get coated in that. And then in the pecans, those aren't sticking as well. And then they're gonna go straight up and down. You're not gonna lay them flat, you're gonna lay them straight up and down. There we go, in the bunt pan. And just, we're gonna repeat, we're gonna have 20 of those all the way around. It should be a tight fit. Ta-da! Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> okay, so now what you're gonna do is take the remainder of your ingredients and pour it over top. We have a lot of butter left. I don't think I'm gonna do all of it. So I would say a stick and a half of butter for us. That's just personal preference. Now I've got a little bit of the cinnamon sugar left. So we're just gonna sprinkle that over the top. And then the last of the pecans. Do you say pecan, 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 pecan? How do you say it? I feel like I, I used to say it a lot of different ways, but now after growing up and hearing butter pecan, I just say pecan all the time. What's the appropriate Southern way to say it? That looks like a little slice of heaven. This is going in the oven at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. I smell something cinnamon. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, that's coming out. So the recipe says to immediately turn this over onto some aluminum foil or else they will stick together. Let's let's see if I can do this gracefully. I'm gonna guess no. Oh my gosh, y'all, y'all, oh my word. 
And then it says to go ahead and separate them as well. And I'll let this cool for just a few minutes. Can you believe this? I mean, it's just beautiful. It looks like I baked it from scratch. I mean, I did open the can of biscuits all by myself. That counts, right? <laughs> I cannot believe this is a biscuit. <laughs> I know. Hold on, let me turn this to where they can see you. There we go. They don't see me know how. Yeah, they do. All right. Okay. This is, I mean, each individual biscuit, you can just see the little layers because it is yeah. the flaky layers kind. There's a little surprise in the middle of your biscuit. A surprise? A surprise? <laughs> Wow. Okay, let's give it a let's give it a shot. Wow. Oh man. Do you know what the surprise is? Something creamy. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Hey, the proper use of cream cheese. Crispy sort of outside, the cinnamon the, and the sugar. Incredible. Pecan flavor in there. Pecan pecan. How do you say it? <laughs> we call them pecans here in the south. I say pecan. Yeah. So before we get the questions, because I know we will. If you've watched any of our videos before, you know Stephen does not like cream cheese in dinner dishes. Right. He loves cream cheese in desserts or breakfast or sweeter dishes. That's that's more of his style. He doesn't hate cream cheese. He just doesn't appreciate it in a dinner dish. This is the appropriate usage for cream cheese, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Patty, thank you so much for sharing this recipe. I think I might be making this for like Christmas brunch or something like that. I just want to feed y'all so. I know. We wish you could, we could give you a bite. For our next biscuit recipe, we are making a chili dog biscuit casserole. So it's kind of like a bubble up bake, but it's pretty much like a chili dog. So it's the best of both worlds. To get started, we're gonna preheat the oven to 375. Something that isn't in the recipe itself, but I'm gonna add is a little bit of onion, not a lot, but I'm gonna dice it up pretty fine. And we're gonna add it into the mixture. That just sounds really good to me. Something else we need to do is chop these eight hot dogs into bite-sized pieces. We also needed two cups of cheese. It says cheddar cheese, but I had a little bit of pepper jack on hand too. So I did like half and half. And I'm using the Grands. So it's eight biscuits, 16 ounce container. These are the flaky layers. I don't think it really matters. And you're just gonna cut each biscuit into quarters. Okay, so I've got a large bowl here. We're gonna add all of our biscuit quarters in here. Our sliced hot dogs are going in. And if you are adding onion like I am, it's gonna go in now too. And the recipe calls for a 28 ounce can of chili with or without beans. I couldn't find a 28 ounce at my store, so I just got two 15 ounces. And the only kind that they had there was the kind with beans. And then lastly, we're gonna add most of the cheese in now. We'll save some to go on top at the very end. And let's just stir all of this and get it all good and coated. So I've got a nine by 13 dish here. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of nonstick spray. And we're just gonna dump in our mixture. I'm trying to separate some of these biscuits that wanna hang out together. Okay, before this goes in the oven, we are gonna cover it with a little bit of aluminum foil. And this is going in a 375 degree oven for about 25 minutes. And then at the end, we'll take the foil off and top it with another half a cup of cheese or the rest of the cheese and bake it for another 20 minutes. Did you wake up from your nap and realize that there's cheese? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Daddy. Sorry, little girl. I didn't mean to drop it. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Say thank you. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. Ha-ha. <laughs> I said, are you ready? He said, yeah, I'm ready. He was standing way over there. I was well, like, I'm going to get up in this thing. Mm -hmm. We put some of, um, you have some, what are those peppers? They're peppers, pickled peppers. Yeah, it's from this Chicago Johnny's. I have the mild, how do you say that? <laughs> Giard. Don't be asking me. I don't know how to say this. It's kind of <laughs> like a relish-ish stuff. It's good, what it is. Oh, I'm excited. My mouth's watering. Man. This is, looks amazing. It's got all my favorite stuff in it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that's good. Wow. Yes. That's like a hot dog casserole. <laughs> Man, that is so good. Highly recommend putting some type of relish or something on top. Mm hmm. But. Ooh, that pepper got me. <coughs> Okay, for our last recipe, it's hard to even really call this one a recipe because it is so simple. You just need your biscuits, you need some cinnamon sugar, and you need a waffle iron. 
Did you know that you can make waffles using biscuits? If you didn't, now you do. Let's go back in time. I made those this morning for breakfast and I'll show you just how easy that is. I'm using the Pillsbury Grands flaky layers. So you just wanna kinda of flatten it out. There you go. And this is gonna go right on our hot waffle iron. Okay, my waffle iron is hot and ready. Woo. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of nonstick spray, just like I always do. And then we're just gonna pop this right there in the middle. Close it down. I am gonna put just a little bit of butter on mine. You can make your own cinnamon sugar concoction, but I use Mr. Sticks. They have several different seasonings, but this is one of them that I use probably uh, the second most. I love their herb and garlic seasoning as well. You can buy these online. I've got a link below if you're interested. I'm gonna pour my maple syrup on top. And that, my friends, is the easiest waffles you're ever gonna make. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you got some new ideas to use your canned biscuit dough. Would you do me a favor? If you loved this video, will you give it a thumbs up? And also, if you have a red subscribe button below, that means you aren't yet subscribed. So go ahead and click that before you leave. All of these recipes were so delicious. I can't wait for you to try them too. Thanks y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm gonna tell you what I want with this. What? You ain't gonna say that. Vanilla ice cream. Steven, this is breakfast. It's <laughs> like a dessert. It is good. Can you see the cream cheese in there? Mmm. Mmm. There we go. You could totally do this for a dessert mm -hmm. and pull it off. Oh my goodness. Y'all have got to make this. Shed, uh, shedded. Shedded cheese? Nope. Half shredded cheddar cheese and half shredded pepper jack. I'm trying to film an outro. Somebody over here getting seconds. I'm trying to get some more food. I love this. It is good. It's delicious. All right. Some of them peppers in there too. All right, you go on so I can Man, film this. They just need to believe. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you got four new recipes using canned biscuit doughs. Doughs? Jeez Louise. Canned biscuit doughs. Doughsy dough. -si -do.